Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to solve a random math problem. So this is a trigonometry problem. From time to time guys, I will be uploading random math problems in order for me to emphasize yung mga basic concepts natin. And these problems that I am going to solve are actually past board exam problems. So I will give you a uh, tips and advices on how to solve these types of problem kasi madalas tong lumabas sa ating mga board exam. Lalong lalo na guys sa engineering. Okay, so itong random math problem natin for today is a trigonometry problem. So in this problem, we have the angle of elevation of the top of tower B from the top of tower A is 28 degrees. And the angle of depression from top of tower A to the base of tower B is 46 degrees. The two towers lie in the same horizontal plane. If the height of tower B is 150 meters, find the height of tower A. So, we encounter here, guys, two terms. Terms tayo na na-encounter dito, which is the angle of elevation and the angle of depression. So, anong pagkakaiba ng dalawa? Na pag sinabi natin, guys, na angle of elevation, it is measured above the horizontal. Pag angle of depression naman, it is measured below the horizontal. So, the first step, or the key on solving trigonometry problem is of course to illustrate the figure kasi doon natin ibabase yung mga trigonometric relations natin now dito sabi sa problem the angle of elevation of the top of tower B from the top of tower A is 28 degrees okay from the top of tower A measure yung uh, angle of elevation ibig sabihin guys mas mataas yung tower B sa tower A kasi measure from top of tower A to the top of tower B, yung angle of elevation natin. Now, i-drawing natin siya. Now, let's say this is your tower. This is, let's say, tower B. So, they belong to the same horizontal plane. Ibig sabihin, guys, magka-level yung base nila or yung bottom or yung foundation ng towers. Say, this is tower B here. Then, this is, let's say, tower A. Okay, so i-measure natin yung angle of elevation from the top of tower A papunta doon sa top ng tower B. Ibig sabihin, mas mataas yung tower B sa tower A from the analysis in the problem. So, i-drawing natin yung angle of elevation. Okay, ito yung distance niya papunta doon sa top ng tower B. And the angle of elevation is measured above the horizontal. Okay, so this is the angle of elevation which is 28 degrees. Okay, so yung height ng tower B natin that is given by 150 meters. So this is 150 meters. So wag na muna natin lagyan ng units. Okay. Then, itong height ng tower A natin, yun ang inahanap natin. Let's say, let H be the height of tower A. So, ilet natin na H yung height ng tower A, which is yun yung hinahanap natin. Ano ba yung height niya? Then, from the second condition, guys, the angle of depression from top of the tower A to the base of tower B is 46 degrees. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, i-measure natin yung 46 degrees below the horizontal. Okay? Yung distance natin from the top of tower A to the base of tower B ito. Then, yung angle of depression natin is nandito siya. Okay? Because, i-measure natin siya below the horizontal. This is 46 degrees. So, this is the figure of our problem. So, ito. Ito yung magiging triangle natin. Okay, kitang-kita naman sa figure, this is our triangle. So, 150, then may dalawa tayong angle here, then hanapin natin yung H using the relationships in trigonometry. Now, let's say, ito, etong distance from A to B here, center to center distance, let's say this is distance X. So, let's represent this distance, yung distance from the top of tower A to the top of tower B. Okay, so, kung ang height ng B, tower B is 150, then height ng tower A is H. Therefore, yung height from top of tower A to top of tower B is 150. That is 150 minus H. 
Okay, i-minus natin yung height ng tower A from this figure. Now, dalawa yung ma-form natin na triangle. So, this is X. Okay, itong X here. Then, this is 28 degrees. Okay, so this is, this height here is 150 minus H. So, ito yung kinuha natin, yung nasa taas na other half of this triangle. So, ito yung kinuha natin. So, we need to find the trigonometric relation of these two triangles na na-form natin. Then, yung nasa baba na triangle, ito yung figure niya. Okay? Ayun. So, this is 46 degrees. Then, itong height na to is just equal to the height here. So, that is H. Then, itong distance dito, here, that is just equal to X. Okay, let's formulate the trigonometric relations in order to find H here. Okay, so from this first triangle, okay, tangent, gamitin natin yung tangent para ma-relate natin itong dalawang side. Okay, tangent of angle 28 degrees is just equal to its, its opposite side over its adjacent side. Then, from this figure, yung opposite side niya, opposite ng 28 degrees is 150. Yung katapat niyang side, that is 150 minus H. Then, yung kung saan siya nakalay, kung saan siya minayasure, that is your adjacent side, ito yung X natin. Okay. That is our first equation. Then, second equation natin from the second triangle. Okay, gamitin ulit natin yung tangent. Okay, tangent 46 degrees. So, that is equal to opposite over adjacent. Yung opposite ng 46 degrees is H. Then, yung adjacent niya is X. Okay, that is H over X. So, let's use these two equation to find H. Okay, from the second equation, from the second equation, X equals, we have here, okay, so, i-multiply natin X both sides, then divide natin by tangent 46 so, that is H over tangent 46 degrees. Then, itong X natin, i-substitute natin to equation 1 to find H. Ayun, mahanap na natin yung height ng tower A. Okay, from the first equation, tangent 28 degrees equals 150 minus H over X. So, since X is h over tangent 46 degrees so tangent 28 degrees equals so 150 minus h all over x natin that is h over tangent 46 degrees simplify lang natin tangent 28 degrees equals so this is 150 minus h okay times tangent 46 degrees all over H. Okay, so H times tangent 28 degrees equals, so times H both sides, 150 uh, minus H times tangent 46 degrees. So, uh, we have here H tangent 28 degrees equal so multiply natin so 150 tangent 46 degrees minus h tangent 46 degrees okay so add tayo ng h tangent 46 to both sides so this becomes h transpose natin h tangent 28 degrees plus h tangent 46 degrees that is equal to 150 tangent 46 degrees. Okay, so H is common. Factor out natin to Tangent 28 degrees plus tangent 46 degrees. So, that is equal to 150 tangent 46 degrees. Then, to find H, just divide both sides by tangent 28 degrees plus tangent 46 degrees. 
So, this is in degrees. Make sure the calculator, guys, is in degrees. Degrees mode. Okay, so H equals 150 tangent 46 degrees divided by tangent 28 degrees plus tangent 46 degrees. So, solving for this, this is just equal to. So, upon solving this, H is 99. 0.11 so ang unit niya is meter so this is meters okay, so therefore so the height of tower A okay yung height ng tower A is 99.11 meter so this is the final answer for this problem I hope that you have learned from this video guys if you are new to this channel of course alam nyo na guys just click the subscribe button and yung notification bell so para manotify kayo yung mga future videos natin then of course follow me guys on facebook that is facebook.com slash engineerprofph see you guys stay safe and god bless you all